Hey guys, I'm Dubai Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. And interesting day today for Apple releasing a ton of software across the board, releasing a revised version of iOS 15 Developer Beta 2. So Developer Beta 2.5. I guess you can call it is a revised build. We're going to talk about that in this video as well as for iPad OS, by the way. And today, Apple has made it official. The public beta for iOS 15 is now available. So anyone and everyone that would like to venture into installing iOS 15 today can do so absolutely free. And I'll talk about everything, as I mentioned in this video. So the first thing I want to talk about is the developer beta 2. As we know, Apple released a new beta for iOS 15 just a few days back. And just today, Apple released iOS 15 developer beta 2 revised version or 2.5, I guess you can call it. So there it is today, iOS 15 beta 2 revised build. And we'll go over the build number as well as iPadOS 15 developer beta 2 revised as well now as we take a look here at the latest build number right there it is the previous beta beta 2 right there comes in at 19a5281h and today's beta is the same but the letter at the end changes for a j so just a minor change within the build i believe the reason apple did this is to prepare devices for public beta and developer beta so both uh, programs can be aligned with one piece of software if you will now although ios developer beta is sitting in beta 2 and developer beta is number one today both betas are pretty much identical now in terms of new features and changes we'll talk about some minor details here in just a few seconds this one came in at 500 and plus gigs so keep in mind this software was pretty much overwriting the entire os to install a new build again to go in line with the public beta now before we begin and also so before you continue with any installation of iOS 15 public beta, if you decide to do so, as I always say, I never recommend you install public beta or developer beta on your primary device. Keep in mind there's going to be issues, although the second beta has proven to be more stable, the battery isn't there just yet. I mean, I can get through my entire day, but not every device will respond the same way, depending on your habits, on how you use your device. That could vary. Uh, FaceTime is working pretty well in beta 2 for developer public beta as well because as i mentioned it's pretty much the same build but there's still uh, the possibility for issues with the software there's some freezing some app compatibility issues and i wanted to make you guys aware of that so if you decide to install ios 15 public beta today on your device just keep those things in mind and if you have a secondary device i recommend you install it on your secondary device and not your primary device so developer beta 2 Point five, I guess you can call it, or revised version has been officially released, as I mentioned, for iPad and iPhone. And for the public beta program, I also want to talk about this uh, just quickly because if you decide to install it, I'll link this in the description. This is where you can enroll your device right now today. Again, the links will be down below. You select the operating system, for example, iOS, and then you click on start enrollment right here and you can enroll your device. It'll install a profile onto your iPhone or iPad and you can go ahead and start testing the beta but as i mentioned and i want to stress this enough keep in mind that this is beta software there's going to be bugs things that are not going to work maybe some apps may not even work or crash completely the battery is okay but it's not as good as it is at ios 14 and all those things are to be expected and as i mentioned before in terms of new features and changes so far with the revised version of ios 15 developer beta and public beta i don't really see any changes in terms of additional new features from the previous beta now i'm going to be testing the beta the public beta here on this iphone 11 for the next couple of days of course you guys can stay tuned for my follow-up video keep in mind that both betas as i mentioned once again a developer and public beta are available pretty much the same build now apple usually takes about a month to release the beta for public beta testing but this time around apple took less than a month which is i guess a good thing for public beta testers apple released the first beta on june the 7th for developer and today on june 30th we see the first public beta for ios 15 so ios 15 hopefully we continue on a quick release trend so apple continues to polish the software if you decide to venture and try out the public beta let me know how the software is working for you thank you for watching this quick update guys and i'll see you on the next one peace